The collision between Indian Navy's 5th Scorpion class submarine with a fishing vessel took place when it surfaced 400 meters ahead of the wooden fishing vessel, and routine checks found out that the submarine remains undamaged and operational. Amid reports that India and Brazil could swap C-390 for Tejas fighter jets, an Indian private defense sector delegation will arrive in Brazil to explore avenues for joint development of systems like Pineku Akash and G and Brahmos and G. Indian Army has inducted Aeroca Logistics drone built by Bonviero, which had recently set a record by lifting a 30 kg payload in Ladakh at 19,000 feet. The RDO's indigenous Archer and Gmail UAV is all set to start flight trials. The 15th edition of Exercise Vajra Prahar 2024 between the Indian and US Army Special Forces has concluded at the Orchid Combat Training Center in Idaho. The RDO chief has said, that the development trials for AMCA will be completed by 2034, and it should achieve induction into the Indian Air Force by 2035. Guyana is in discussions with Indian defense companies to procure fast patrol vessels, offshore patrol vessels, and small arms and ammunition. The DRDO has urged drone startups to develop swarm drones that can collectively function as a static early warning radar system to monitor incoming aerial threats. The Vikram Sarab High Space Center has developed indigenous primary actuators codenamed Dahlia, that will debut on the limited series production version of the Tejas aircraft. Hindustan Aeronautics has already begun integration testing of the indigenous actuators at the National Lion Bird Facility in Bangalore. Primary actuators are among the most critical and expensive components of the flight control system of the Tejas aircraft, that will replace actuators sourced from the US. The locally developed actuators have outperformed their imported counterparts in various parameters, and costs only a quarter of the imported actuators. Despite the Indian Air Force being hesitant to pursue additional heavy class fighter jets, Boeing remains optimistic on proposing its F-15EX fighter jet for the MRF-8 tender. A Boeing official has said, that the F-15EX could operate as a weapons truck in support of forward operating fifth generation aircraft, and will provide superior situational awareness, quicker decision making in dynamic combat scenarios, and hypersonic weapon integration, and banking on these capabilities, Boeing believes that the F-15EX represents a compelling option for the MRF-8 tender. Hindustan Aeronautics is preparing to unveil the full-scale Cats Warrior at the Aero India 2025, and is also targeting its first flight in late 2025. The Indian Air Force has thrown its weight behind the project, especially in light of lessons learned from the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, where propeller-driven UCAFs have proven vulnerable to man portable air defense systems and anti-aircraft guns underscoring the necessity for jet-powered UCAFs with advanced autonomous functions. Today's top 3 comments 